hey guys welcome back to my poppin ass youtube channel so this video is going to be a curly hair tutorial for heat damaged hair hair that's used to being straightened if you're like me and you're trying to transition from putting a lot of straightening tools on your hair to letting your natural curly hair thrive then this is a video for you my hair has definitely come a long way look at that what is that anyways <laughs> let's not talk about it because we're here now um i know my hair still has a lot of frizz <clears throat> i know it's not perfect but like i showed you in that picture it has come a long way it's grown it's shinier it's more defined it's got a lot of volume so i'm really excited to get into it so the first thing that i'm using here is a primer by curlsmith uh this is this is it you put it on before you shampoo and it's like a detangler and it really just like preps the, the scalp. It, it doesn't interrupt like the natural skin barrier, kind of like how you hear a lot in skincare. Um, it's like that, but for the microbiome of your hair. I don't know. You guys should read into it. I think there's a lot of science behind this line, which I think is why I really like it. And then you go ahead and you put your shampoo literally right on top. You don't rinse the primer out. And then you just massage your scalp the way that I'm doing here. Um, I think it's really important not to put shampoo on the ends of your hair, especially if your hair is already damaged. Obviously, if you really have thick hair and you have a lot of like buildup, you know, I think it's okay to obviously run some shampoo down the bottom of your hair, but I don't think that you should put too much. I know that that sounds obvious, but you'd be surprised. I can't lie. I was one of those people that used to shampoo my whole hair instead of just the top. And that was one of the reasons my hair was really dry and really damaged. So if you're like me and you let shampoo like go all the way down your ends, I would recommend you try only shampooing your scalp because I think that really helps. And here I'm obviously just rinsing it out, blah, blah, blah. You guys know how to do that. Um, don't forget to rinse out like the bottom of your hair, like right by your neck, down where my hand is there. You can get a lot of build up there and it can weigh your hair down. Now we're gonna condition. So when I condition, I like to squeeze my hair like that. I feel like when you just put the conditioner like on top of your hair, it doesn't really saturate. I don't really know how to explain it, but ooh, girl, look how freaking slippery and slatty and not free my hair was. I was feeling it. See, I just like really like soak it in and like press it in. I don't know. I also like to scrunch it. Um, I feel like it just encourages the curl pattern. It's probably all in my head, but. I even put some on my scalp, especially for this line because it's meant to like balance your scalp. I feel like if your hair is super damaged, don't shampoo your scalp and then like don't put anything onto your scalp after that. I feel like you're just shampooing your scalp and then stripping your scalp. You know, it's like washing your face but not putting any moisturizer. I know if you have oily hair, that might not be that easy to do, but maybe look for something that you can try to feed your scalp after you shampoo it because I really just don't think it's a good idea to just shampoo your scalp and not put any soothing anything on it afterwards, any moisturizing components. Um, here, obviously, my hair is just upside down just to get all the product out. Ooh, we mask in. She, look at that thick ass mask. Look at that. She thick. Um, okay, so I kind of just go in and put the deep conditioner in my hair. I don't section off my hair when I do my masks um, unless I really feel like being super intricate and detailed with it. My hair is growing, but it's not like ridiculously long and thick. I don't really need to section it off, but if, if you're blessed with like super thick and long hair, definitely section your hair so that you can really make sure you're not neglecting any parts of your hair. So here I'm just kind of like twisting my hair, obviously finger raking my hair, running my fingers through the hair, but I also like to twist it a little bit like this. Again, it's kind of just to encourage the curl pattern. Y'all heard that scrunchy ass, juicy ass noise? That's the noise that I like to go for. I feel like that's like the sound of my hair just like <laughs> slurping it up. You know what I mean? So here's the tea. Once I finished this, I left it in for 30 minutes and the sun went down and I couldn't film anymore. So this is the next day. So um, all I'm doing is re-wetting my hair, just picking up where I left off yesterday. Um, this is how I refresh my curls on like the third day or the fourth day anyway. So it's the same routine. It just got like super dark in my crib and I was like, I feel like 
I'm gonna give them a shitty ass video. So I just decided to redo it. So all I'm doing is detangling my hair before I put product in it. I took this picture right off Curl Smith's website. Um, it's this, the Hold Me Softly Style Bomb is what I'm using. I put like a decent amount. I feel like, see, there I am. Wow, look, I'm cranky as hell. What the hell? Lighten up, shorty, goddamn. Anyways, I feel like I use like a nice amount. I don't think it weighs my hair down, but it's really important to start at the ends and then go up to the top. Do not style your hair with styling cream and ever start at the roots unless, I don't know, unless it's like made to be put on your roots. Like if it's for flyaways or something like that, I, I, who knows, dry shampoo or whatever. But any styling cream, start at the, the ends. So I moved to my bathroom just so I could give you guys like a better view a better close-up so all i'm doing is running my denman brush through my hair after putting the styling balm in it and i'm just twirling it in at the ends and then i just shake it out and i let the curl kind of clump up and then i scrunch it softly i know it looks like i'm scrunching like mad aggressive but i'm actually not i'm kind of just like cupping it and then giving it a few squeezes up at the top so i'm really like encouraging the curl pattern and trying to make them stick so here is the difference you can see like the curl definition there versus the other side that i haven't done yet and i'm sorry like what i'm what is that get it off the screen samantha get it off the screen anyways so then i go in with my denman brush and i just keep doing that around my whole head of hair twirl it in at the ends brush it upwards for volume shake it out and then scrunch it up gently I save the front of my hair for last because that's like, you know, the part that's going to be like most seen, I guess. And I'm just doing the same thing, detangling it, putting the product through it, brushing it with my Denman brush upwards for volume, twirling it in. You could also twirl it out the opposite direction if you want. And maybe it'll like, you know, make your curls go opposite ways, give you more volume. All right. So at first, when I start diffusing, I don't disrupt the curls. I kind of just let them stay and kind of just put some heat on them and then i bring them up to my scalp once they get a little bit more damp it really just helps with definition like it really just helps set the curls and like keep them like that before you like shake them out and turn your head upside down um the reason i turn my head upside down when i diffuse is like i bring the diffuser up to my scalp like as you can kind of see i know it's like a weird angle but i like to move the diffuser like around my scalp in like little tiny circles like that because it like brings my hair off my scalp i just said scalp like 90 times okay whew. anyways see what i'm doing there like little tiny circles i just feel like it really lifts my hair up and i just like try to be gentle with it and i bring my hair up to my scalp using the diffuser like i bounce it a little bit but I don't touch them with my hands. I feel like when you scrunch and you diffuse at the same time or like if you touch your curls a lot, I really feel like that makes them fall apart and then just become super frizzy. So we're just gonna fast forward, blah, blah, blah. See how I'm just like really blowing the air and I'm like trying not to disrupt them as much as I can until they at least get a little bit more dry. And then I just continue to bounce them, lift them up to my scalp, lift my hair off my scalp. In these little circles i did a close-up just to see my hair is only like 40 percent dry here it's not the finished product but you see what i'm saying like it really just made my hair like really come up and and be lifted if i don't know if that makes any sense i'm trying my hardest here <laughs> it's hard to explain these things like your everyday routines like when you actually try to explain them so here i'm just separating my my curls um, I like to do this because I don't like when there's like big clumps and stuff. I don't know. A lot of people do. That's totally fine. This part is completely optional. You can do this as much as you want or you can literally just keep them the way they are. But like you see that, for example, like that's like three curls in one. And I just really want them to like stand out as they are. This is just kind of a close up serving face. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys a close-up. My hair, it wasn't completely dry. It was probably maybe 85 to 90% dry. It was still a little damp, but it was really shiny. And I wanted to show you guys, um, like, the definition. You see that shiny-ass curl right there in the middle? I've never really had that before. But with the routine that I'm using now, I'm finally, like, seeing some actual curls in my in my hair. So I really just wanted to, like, show you guys. And then from this point on, I just let it air dry. And then as it air dried, you could really see like the ringlets, 
and the shine and i was really happy with it you can see some bounce it's not weighed down with like a shit ton of product i just fluff it out like that that does cause a little bit of frizz but i kind of prefer that look than for them to be like super super crunchy looking but that's just my personal preference um, but yeah, my hair has never solidly been like this curly before and a lot of people have been asking me what I've been doing and I figured I would just make a video and share it. And I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you have anything else you want to see, like skincare, questions and answers, um, other hair videos, I'm more than happy to oblige. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm a YouTuber now. Oh my God. And um, look me up on Spotify and Apple Music.